some of the endocrinologists are really frustrated by the volume of patients who would bring in tests that they got online showing they had low testosterone. Please be aware that uh, the testosterone can change based on the time of day that you do the test if you're younger. Uh, after the age of 40, it still has a diurnal rhythm, but sometimes it's not always the highest in the morning and it can fluctuate, especially in the area of urology, seem to be much more clued up. True knowledge comes from practice and experience, so we know that endocrinology are very much focused on diabetes and not so much on. And I've always thought you should get the comprehensive test first, because if you think it might be low testosterone, it could also be low thyroid, it could also be you know, potentially an issue with your cortisol. It So what should you ask your doctor for when you're considering that you might have low testosterone or low hormones? Well, many doctors don't want to do the test at all because they'll look at you and they'll say, you're absolutely fine, there's no problem here. But if you were to ask your doctor to do the test and you're in the UK, they probably will fob you off and, and not want to do it. And that's where you have to go to the private sector and, and ask for blood tests. And I would recommend that you look at, on our Balance My Hormone site, we have some comprehensive tests. And I've always thought you should get the comprehensive test first, because if you think it might be low testosterone, it could also be low thyroid. It could also be you know, potentially an issue with your cortisol. It could be a, an issue that maybe isn't hormone related, but having a comprehensive panel can usually nail down what the issue is, or at least eliminate what it's not. So it's important, uh, we, we like advanced test or a comprehensive test on our website. If you just are curious to know what your testosterone levels are, let's say you're a young person and just curious to see where you are, you'd please be aware that uh, the testosterone can change based on the time of day that you do the test if you're younger. Uh, after the age of 40, it still has a diurnal rhythm, but sometimes it's not always the highest in the morning and it can fluctuate throughout the day. Uh, even a two tests done, very close together, you may give you a slightly different result. Um, some putting you below the threshold for treatment and some putting you above the threshold for treatment uh, as is considered. So you have to take the blood test with a the, with the pinch of salt. And there are many, many different ways to look at uh, the results of those tests, especially if one thinks they have low testosterone levels. And the number that's on the reference range is not always indicative of what a healthy, optimal level of testosterone is. Despite, despite what certain uh, endocrinologists might say, they are plain wrong because you can't have strict cutoffs be where your level is, uh, is uh, 13 and they say no, it should be 10. Or if your level, you know, within, or, or if it's just one point off and you have all the symptoms, I'd be really suspect of, of the knowledge base of that particular endocrinologist telling you that. That's why we, we think that TRT specialists, um, especially in the area of urology, seem to be much more clued up on, on, on the, in the area and that the true knowledge comes from practice and experience. So we know that endocrinology are very much focused on diabetes and not so much on testosterone and hormone replacement therapy. So I think that is a real, real need for patients to be aware of. People who pretend to wear the title of having to do with the endocrine system are usually the least, the least experienced in treating patients, at least treating patients properly for testosterone treatment. So again, we would, we would argue that you know, patients should see testosterone cl clinic specialists that actually do this day in and day out, un unlike the, the NHS endos. Now, if you're in the United States, you've got lots of choices for testosterone treatment. And, you know, you can go to your GP, though you might run into the same issue with your primary care doctor. They might have their own area of focus. Insurance company might restrain what, what will be tested, what won't be tested, and, and how they'll also look at the, at the blood test. We know across the board that the reference ranges are dropping, but those reference ranges are only reflective of the sicker and sicker patients coming in with lower and lower testosterone levels and is not indicative of what a healthy, optimal testosterone level is. So on that point of view, in the US, Say you also have some great urologists that you can look at uh, for treatment, or, or you know some other TRT clinics who would specialize in this day in and day out. And so overall, not all endocrinologists are bad. I, I hope I didn't paint that picture. Uh, there are a few out there that understand, uh, even in the UK, that understand the benefit of of, of testing and of, of uh, and seeking balance and looking at symptoms. Uh, unfortunately, there are far and few between in the UK, uh, but there are some there. And overall. 
BMH is here to support you should you have further needs or questions about your testosterone therapy. So anyway, for further content like this or information, don't forget to subscribe to the channel.